this form of ketamine really has the potential to change lives. I see ketamine as the most effective treatment coming out for depression in the last 80 years. It's the largest study of its kind in the world. A double-blind trial involving 184 people with treatment-resistant depression saw participants undergo a course of injections with racemic ketamine. And the results are impressive. Our results found that in the ketamine treatment group, 20% of people were in remission. That means they were completely better from their depression. Currently, S-ketamine nasal spray is sometimes prescribed for those struggling with treatment-resistant depression. But that can cost around $1,150 per treatment. This generic ketamine costs as little as 350 bucks a pop. Ketamine is a great treatment, but the main barrier now to people accessing it is the cost. I am hopeful that in the next couple of years, it will be funded by Medicare and therefore accessible to everyone who needs it. Advocacy bodies like Mind Medicine Australia convinced these drugs are the path forward when it comes to mental health treatment. So with traditional pharmaceuticals, what they often do is they manage symptoms, but that often leads to also uh, numbing sensation. These medicines open a window of neuroplasticity where the brain is able to create new neurons, change neuronal pathways, which can lead to behavioural change. But that doesn't mean these drugs drugs are a set and forget cure. When we include and combine therapy alongside the ketamine treatment, uh, it has the potential to lead to also really positive outcomes. Experts quick to point out they should never be the first port of call. If you are suffering from depression, you shouldn't go straight to a ketamine treatment clinic. You should first see your GP, maybe see a psychologist, maybe take medications, do other lifestyle changes. And if further treatments aren't working, then that's the time to go and think about things like ketamine. So could this ketamine cure prove a light at the end of the tunnel for desperate Aussies? Well, when you say Norman, I say Swan. He's here with us now. <laughs> Norm, what's the catch? Well, the catch is, there are a couple of catches. The catch is that this ketamine doesn't work for a terribly long time. So whether you're taking the, 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 the very expensive version or this generic version, um, it's probably going to, the effect's going to die away after a few weeks. Nobody really knows how long and it varies between people. And then if you've got to take it for an extended period, the studies have really not gone on long enough to know that it's really safe in the long term. But it's very good, in fact, when you've got treatment-resistant depression that's very severe, it gets you over the hump. Dr Swan, a lot of people might uh, not be hugely enthused to use a drug that was commonly used as horse tranquilizer. Um, why do you think attitudes are changing? Uh, attitudes are changing. First of all, you've got a lot of people promoting these psychedelic. Well, this isn't really a psychedelic, but it is a mind-altering drug. Um, because they're desperate for treatments and desperate for new mental health treatments. So you've got a rising popularity and demand for psychedelics in general, and that's another story also for treatment-resistant depression. So I think it's people's desperation that's changing the story here. But desperation does not mean that you're going to get a safe, effective treatment. And that's the important thing about this particular study. And it's also got to be affordable. Well, the study was about the generic version of this drug. You're talking about affordability. Does generic mean it's not as good as the brand name stuff? No, the effect of this drug... So, first of all, let's just analyse the dose and the cost per dose. The cost per dose of this generic is $5 versus $800 for the, uh, for the other version of this drug. And if you look at the results, they're pretty much the same for $5 versus $800. And what that means is that each session you go, so you're getting twice weekly injections for a month. You could be talking about $2,400 a month uh, for a considerable period of time. This one, as you said in your lead, gets that down to about $300, which is the consultation plus the drug. It makes it much more affordable. And this is something that happens in pharmacy a lot, is that you get drug companies inventing a slight variation of a drug so they can charge a lot of money. It happens with eye injections for blindness. There's an eye injection that's $25 an injection, very effective, but the drug company has manipulated the market to sell a drug that's maybe uh, between $1 and $2,000 a dose. This is common practice in the pharmaceutical industry. Dr Swan, uh, next weekend, Splendour in the Grass is happening. I've got a very important question for you. Um, what's your poison of choice? What would you recommend for <laughs> someone going to Splendour? I see a lot of wine bottles in the background there for you. 
Yes, I'm here in the National Wine Centre, but I, you know, I suggest soda water. Yeah. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do, Dr. Swan. Mm -hmm. That's as long as you can prevent the bubbles getting up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Norman Swan, thank you very much. <laughs>